Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Ron, the CTO at Epsagon, and in the following 90 seconds I'm going to show you Epsagon's custom dashboards. As you know, Epsagon already filters and generates traces based on your application data. You can also visualize specific things coming from your applications using the custom index tags that we can generate. Now, in the following part, I'm going to show how we can create custom dashboards based on this information. I'm going to look based on all of the information that Epsagon already generated for something specific, a message in Kafka that specifies for me how much quantity do I have in this order. So I'm going to choose this as an average because I'm looking to see how many items on average customers are buying from my website. As we can see on the chart below, we can see exactly the numbers based on our time frame and intervals selected. Now using Epsagon, we can add this to custom dashboard. To add this to custom dashboard, just click on the button and choose which dashboard do you want to add this to. Let's jump now into our retail application dashboard. We already got a built-in overview dashboard that you can use, including traces, insights, and some other things but I'm going to switch over to the retail analytics dashboard. I can set this one as my main dashboard, so that will be the one that I'm getting into, but let's just get into that. Over here, we'll be able to visualize all of our charts, all of our, all of our metrics and all of the data, and also generate alerts based on that. But let's review quickly what do we got in this custom dashboard, including how many orders do we got on our website and how many unique items, how many items ordered in total, pretty similar to what we've did so far, and how many errors. These custom dashboards can be customizable as much as you want. You can play around with all of the widgets, add some more, put any kind of metrics or information that is being collected by Epsagon. Thank you very much for joining.